Are there ways to feed chickens for cheap or even for free? They sure are. Today we're going to find out. G'day there, it's Dani here from Pewakaka Valley Homestead. Today we're going to look at 15 different ways you can feed chickens cheaply or even for free. The baby and I are on chicken feeding duty today and I thought we might talk about some different ways that you can feed your chickens for cheap or for free and save yourself some money. We have a lot of chickens here and we do quite a few different things to help uh, save ourselves some money on their feed and to make sure that they're getting quite a good variety in their diet. One of the first things you can do to help feed your chickens cheaply is to give them your vegetable scraps out of the house. Vegetable scraps, dairy scraps, if you make your own cheese, any of those sorts of things. Um, they're all great things to add to your chicken food. We uh, give our chickens the food uh, scraps out of the out of the kitchen, and um, we also feed them back their eggshells. We just crush them up first. Another thing we do to make our chicken food go further is we actually ferment it in these big bins. Fermenting feed's really easy. I'll add a link to it down below. But all you have to do is um, literally soak it in some water for a few days. The natural bugs and biota that are already on the grain will start to ferment. You'll end up with a much more nutritious, easy to digest food that goes a lot further. It's got a lot more nutrients in it and it's a lot more protein and the chickens will naturally just need to eat less of it. This can save you between 30 and 50% of your total feed. Other things we've done to help save money when we're feeding our chickens is to we shop around. So we found that the place that we usually buy our feed from, there's actually another store that sells feed for like about three dollars a sack cheaper. And then we found if we bought it directly from the farmer, we could actually get it for another three dollars cheaper. So we actually buy our grain direct from a relatively local farmer. We get it every Monday when he brings a delivery up. If you're so inclined, mixing your own feed is another great way of saving some money you do pay a bit of a premium for someone else mixing it for you so you can actually buy the individual grain separately and mix it yourself if you prefer chickens are notoriously wasteful creatures they scratch they dig they flick their food everywhere and you can actually get by by feeding your chickens a lot less if you actually portion out the amount of food you give them uh, decide how many chickens you have work out the small lighter laying breeds they tend to eat about half a cup a day and the bigger bigger heavier ones you're looking at closer to a cup a day so if you portion out their food you'll find that they actually eat a lot less obviously you don't want to restrict it so much that it affects the amount of eggs that they're laying but there is a fine balance between the two one thing we found really helpful to limit the amount of food we were going through was to buy a grandpa feeder for our chickens and they're those feeders that they step on and the lid opens and this means things like rats mice and sparrows can't actually get access to any of the food. When we first implemented this we saved our feed bill probably about 50% because we were actually feeding the entire local population of sparrows. So we found the grandpa feeder saved us a boatload of money so I've put a link to that down in the description below. Obviously if you can let your chickens free range you'll save a huge amount on your feed costs as well. We let our laying chickens out pretty much every day. They hang out in the uh, out in the long grass out here and they fly, find plenty of bugs and uh, it means that we don't have to feed them nearly quite so much. This is the big old bin of veggie scraps that we get from a local restaurant. We get it twice a week and sometimes it's full all the way to the top. This is all free food for our chickens. Now did you know that you can actually feed your chickens manure from other animals? If other, I know it sounds kind of gross, but if your other animals eat grass like cows and uh, horses, anything with those big sloppy patties, the, um, the chickens love nothing more than to just sort of flick through them, especially after about day three where the fly larvae have hatched and they'll flick through them and eat all the bugs out of them. This is a brilliant way of reducing how many worms and your um, parasite load in your larger animals. Chickens love nothing more than flicking through a good compost heap. Feeding your chicken compost is actually a great way of giving them some free food. 
There is a farmer who I will link his video. He feeds his chickens nothing but compost. And the chickens are brilliant tillers. They dig through the compost. They help aerate it. So it really is quite a great symbiotic relationship. I know that Justin Rhodes for a while there, he had a system going where the uh, chickens would flick through a pile and then you move it over and then you, um, you just kind of keep going. So you've got three piles on the go all the time. And that's a great way of feeding chickens. You can grow yourself a chicken garden and in there there are a whole bunch of different things that you can grow that are specifically chickens absolutely adore eating. Any of those quick growing leafy greens, um, even letting some of the weeds like chickweed grow, that's a brilliant thing to grow. They grow very easily and chickens just love them. Really high nutrients and um, a brilliant thing to feed for your chickens for free. This is some chicory that's going to seed so we're going to pull it out and feed it to the chickens too. Some Swiss chard that we grow to feed the chickens. We also know it as silver beet, that's what we call it in New Zealand. If you've been out weeding in your garden or you've found a whole bunch of bugs and slugs, throw those to the chickens. They love eating those as well. A big old pile of weeds for the chickens out of the veggie garden. Option number 14 would be to grow your own bugs. My daughter grows mealworms for her bearded dragon and they're really, really easy to keep. They don't smell. All you have to feed them is like wheat bran or rolled oats or something to that effect and a piece of wet vegetable like carrot um, and they're really really easy to keep they don't escape they're they're brilliant they're very productive and the chickens just love them really high protein source this is Smaug the big bearded dragon a tip I have for uh, growing cheap chicken food would be to look into growing fodder fodder is a great way of taking your grain that you already have that you're going to feed anyway and turning it into like four or five times as much food for your chickens. You will need a wee bit of a setup and there are some brilliant videos online of growing fodder in your house. Um, you need some trays, you need to be able to water them. We did do that for quite some time but we were finding that the sparrows were getting in it because we had it outside and then the dog was chasing the sparrows and then knocked the whole thing over and I just kind of gave up and we just went back to fermenting it. But it was a really good way of growing quite cheap food for both our rabbits and our chickens and they really loved those fresh greens. I hope you found this video really useful. If you have, hit the like button and um, if you subscribe to our channel, we bring you videos twice a week on growing and preserving your own food and becoming more self-reliant. We'll see you in the next one.